I saw it and I, I literally just left a company and I had to spend three weeks just documenting everything that I did for my replacement. I literally had just, I was like, I wish I had this three weeks ago because I had to do all this stuff. I had to take screenshots and document all the things and link to the pages. And I was at this new company and I was like, I'm doing all of these things. I'm setting up all these processes and I need to make sure that there's something there for anybody so that it's easily consumable. Tango saves me so much time. You know, prior when I when, before I had Tango, it would literally take me a day to get even a, a simple, you know, I say simple 30 step process with some of my things. Like I, I use, I'm a power user of Zapier. I have zaps that are 30 steps mm -hmm. and I need to describe each and every one. And so you have to go in, take a screenshot, make sure. And I use Macs. I'm a MacBook. So it's, it's easy. It's okay. But it's still kind of a, like, you have to remember which one was which all that stuff. So it, yeah, it would literally take me a day. I can go through, build a zap, go back and document it and have it done in about six minutes. I, I own HubSpot, I own inbound processes and tools. So mostly when I'm creating tangos for, for better agency, it's to teach the salespeople, hey, this is the step-by-step -step process of what you need to do. Or I use it, I, I use tangos to do a lot of just hit by the bus documentation. Yeah. Um, I'm a big believer ever, ever since I, I got into tech, I'm a big believer in hit by the bus planning. You never know when somebody's going to get, you know, just quit, drop dead, get hit by a bus, literally. Um, so having everything pro documented in one. So what I do is I created a tango and then I don't, I use the markup tool, the markup copy, and I, I dump it into a notion board. They love getting the basically a, just a step-by-step -step workflow with the links and everything of the pages and not just record a Loom video because if you send me a Loom video, I'm not going to watch it. I like using Tango um, instead of doing like a Loom video or something like that because I struggle with consuming video for step-by-step -step things. Um, I, I hate it. Like I get, a, I'll get a like, I have documentation from, from vendors and products and they're all videos. And I'm like, Oh, I got to listen to this guy. <laughs> I, I just, just give me the step-by-step. -step. I'm a reader and a, like visual, I'm a visual person, but I also need to be able to read and have a step-by-step. -step. And so having the ability, when I do my tangos, I, I record a loom video at the same time. And then when I, when I publish the, the document, I embed the video on the top of it. So, so my people who are having to use my stuff have either choices for how they can prefer to consume step-by-step uh, -step or how-to guides. Yeah, so when I'm recording a Loom video and I'm using, ta and I've got the Tango running, that highlighter will kind of highlight what I'm clicking without having to go back and edit uh, my video with where I want them to click or put in like arrows or whatever.